What's up, Libra? Uh, Libra, this is your week ahead. Energy is beginning February oh, February 3rd and ending February 9th. For some strange reason, I almost said the 6th. I don't know why I'm stuck on the 6th. Uh, so, yes, yeah, the messages will be for Libra Sun, Moon, and Libra Rising Signs. All right, Libra, I hope all is well. I'm using the Venetian Tarot deck once more to uh, deliver your messages. And without further ado... Let's get underway to see what the potential energy is coming up for you guys this upcoming week. All right. Energies for Libra. Sun, moon, and Libra rising signs. February 3rd, ending February 9th. Shadow card, uh, Libra energy that may play out along with the rest of the cards that will be selected for you relates to that of the well it's your energy but it's the eight of swords okay so we have the eight of swords here and this is some energy that may for some of you it's not going to be uh energy that impacts all of you keep in mind that this is just an open general reading you know if these energies don't uh, apply to you don't sweat the small stuff but this is concerns this is worries uh, this could be some sort of doubts going on. Uh, it may be all of those things, worries, concerns, anxiety, and there's nothing going on. There's nothing wrong. But we have a tendency, and because you are Libra and you share the uh, energies with uh, Gemini and Aquarius, you know, we're always pinned for uh, having a lot of mental stuff going on. We think inside of our heads a lot. Libra is not the, the sign, however. Gemini uh, Libra does it, but I'm saying Gemini and Aquarius is known for it or notorious for it. Okay. So, but you st still fall in line with that family. So it could be that there's a lot of things going on in terms of your own mental mind and you're trying to, they may be, uh, actual challenges for you and you're just trying to sort them out and it may not have anything to do with anybody else. So this could be on the internal side. But if, you know, something's going on and there's a conflict of interest with other people, then that would represent the external. A lot of times the Eight of Swords shows up here where there's a uh, people can't pinpoint what exactly is going on with them because it could be the fear of the future. It could be anxiety about the future, feeling like you're trapped, worried or concerned. And all of those things that you're worried, concerned or feeling anxious about may not even come to pass or you may not even be dealing with it, but it's just that thought process. So just be careful in, in terms of uh, your interactions um, and dealing with other people this upcoming week. And also, uh, you know, when you're not dealing with other people, just make sure that you're clearing your mind out as much as you possibly can, because if there's something going on uh, with you mentally and it's challenging, you know, take one sword at a time and figure it out. Uh, nothing is, um, you know, the end. It's not the, it's not going to be the end of the world. So this also relates to uh, not getting a, a proper night's sleep because you're up worrying about maybe your bills. Maybe your um, could be your work in itself. Maybe it's your relationship. Maybe it's your family. Uh, and again, it may be those things attached to those things I just said, but it may not be anything at all. Uh, but you're worried or you're concerned about something that you... For some, can't put your finger on, all right? So that's uh, what I'm giving you. So this is your energy, Eight of Swords, and represents Gemini and Libra. Uh, I'm sorry, Gemini and Aquarius, male or female. Your focus for the week, however, is more of your energies. Uh, but this is the Six of Swords. So not too much of the turmoil going on uh, that may be connected from, you know, the base shadow energy, the Eight of Swords. So this normally is about relieving yourself or moving away from turmoil or having to deal with some sort of mental conflicts or conflicts um, on a personal level or, you know, on an external level, um, moving into clear, calmer waters. So that's your theme for the week, Libra. OK, just know that that's your theme. And the shadow card is only energy that may be playing out. It might be, like I said, concerned, worried, anxious, and it's all for nothing. But there's Six of Swords, which rep represents the entire focus for you or the theme for you for the week is about moving into clearer, calmer passages and uh, calmer waters. Also, if there's traveling short distance or long distance, I'm going to say it safe passage to safe passage from. OK, so 
crossing that six of swords uh libra we have the uh knight of swords so yeah i love when the elements show up here uh, for the sign that i'm reading for so far you got all uh swords showing up here this is a card it's a court card of course but this is you that could represent your energy taking action uh making some sort of um you know uh, not only taking action, but taking charge, making decisions. And this particular night, now he looks like he's in an attack mode for some strange reason. So that may not be something that will represent you uh, for some of you Libras. But I'm looking at the, he looks like he has a letter in his hand, but also to a rose. So I don't know if he's... Uh, going after someone and, and defending his love or something's going on here but this is about taking charge being determined clearing up any confusion or uncertainty centered around any areas or uh, energies that you might be dealing with this upcoming week uh, but using your analytical mind libra um absence from your emotional heart so making the right choices and the decisions that are best suited for you okay so that's your energy again and also the energy of aquarius and gemini following the night now we have the queen queen of wands is showing up here so this is a card of being focused this is a card of passion for some of you it could be intense uh passion uh things starting to heat up this is always a card that comes through in terms of energies sexual energy sexual expression uh but it's a good card you know the queen is could also represent male energies and this is part of the fire sign um energies here aries leo sagittarius male or female so we have uh, two court cards showing up here uh so that could be uh having those exchanges uh with the people in your life could be your mother could be your father grandmother grandfather um elders it might be something based on uh, decision makings or decisions related to elders. And maybe the Eight of Swords is showing up here for the concerns or the worries. Something might be going on here uh, with uh, elders of uh, Libra. Father, mother, grandfather, grandmother. For others, it's a good card. Things are heating up. Things are, you know... Um, possibly intense becomes intense for you passionate and then there you're focused following the queen of wands here uh libra we have nine of pentacles okay so the nine of pentacles is actually a pretty good card too so um rewarding yourself for all of the hard work that you put into um you know this is almost like treating yourself for the hard work that you've done okay a work in progress well, this goes beyond the work in progress. This is saving money, putting money away for a rainy day. Uh, but basically, it comes down to enjoying the fruits and the hard work of your labor that you have put into, a, you know, your work. Now, this is open general reading. It could be your relationships. So think about that. So if it is uh, related to the. Um, you know, the coins or the finances, someone could be getting a new job, bumped into a higher paying position. Uh, someone could be taking money out of a 401k, the retirement or some other savings, taking that money out to splurge on you because you you deserve it. And, you know, I have given a couple of exam examples in other videos when Nine of Pentacles uh, showed up and said that, you know, you pull money out or paying for that that vacation that you've always dreamed of uh, going on or, you know, it may have something to do with. Uh, pulling money out for education or, you know, remodeling your home or whatever, whatever the situation is, you're pulling money out for some of you to it's usually big ticket items and it's about treating yourself and you deserve it because that's what this card is treating yourself to something that you worked hard, um, you know, to put put away and work very, very hard. And we're talking about money here. And then also we're talking about um, could be for those if it's not related to money your relationships you worked hard because we got two court cards that are following this so it's the eight of pentacles or the, at least the seven of pentacles will be the work in progress along with the eight of pentacles but that's the balancing energy the nine is a little bit higher 
and it's more um i like the energy of the nine definitely better than the seven but the eight of pentacles is pretty good too so uh taurus capricorn virgo male or female represents this nine of pentacles yeah, somebody's getting a job. Someone's getting boosted in, into a higher paying uh, position. Remember, I said the queen is about things heating up, things becoming intense. And then you're focused on something. You're passionate about something. Some of you may be passionate about the work that you do or the work that you're involved with. Um, but it could be so many things. Following the nine of pentacles, um, Libra, we have the two of wands okay so the two of wands is showing up here now for some of you uh two of wands is low energy so that means it's slow moving something may be slow moving not moving fast enough for you stagnation a lack of progress all right it's the number two so it could be um you know referencing another person it could be a relationship otherwise is ideas plan making for the future but you don't have all the resources just yet. Things are coming to you and you're writing things down, uh, but you may not have all the resources available to move forward. Now, for some strange reason, if the three of wands shows up here uh, with the last three cards that will be uh, selected for you, then, you know, those ideals come very quickly. The plans come very quickly and you're going to be moving forward with them. Also, if the chariot uh, happens to show up. Two of Wands represents uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. So what we have next is the uh, King of Wands. OK, so we have the King of Wands, the same energy as the Queen. Everything that I just said about that Queen is the same thing that is uh, referencing the King. OK, things heating up, focused on some type of energy, passionate, sexual energy, sexual expression. Um interesting we don't have no cups just yet i was just uh that's why i paused because i was looking i might i didn't draw any cups but it doesn't really matter okay it doesn't really matter so the king is here in the upright position as well as the queen so libra or somebody's dealing with fire signs here okay <sighs> nothing wrong with that and i do feel that it's um when it comes to a romantic relationship, I'm picking up that the fire sign person is older. They don't have to be extremely older, but I'm picking up uh, there's an age difference. Not necessarily a gap, but there's a little bit of age difference that I'm picking up. Libra's involved with this person or yeah, male or female. Following the king that represents Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, we have. Well, we got the happy card there's the cups didn't i just say something about we had no cups and then the, the next card is a cup this is the ten of cups libra so this is a very very good card to receive so for some of you um it's a week of toning things down in terms of conflicting energies whether they're internal or whether you know some external uh sources that you're dealing with but by the end of the week, nearing the end of the week, it's, it's turning into a real good type of energy. Emotional happiness, satisfaction, contentment, being you know surrounded by all relationships, romantic, platonic. And because the cup did show up here, this is a card of you know uh, relationships. Also, the Ten of Cups for me always represents, uh, you know, like weddings. Uh, so there could be someone getting married. Hmm. Interesting. Ten of Cups is also coming through uh, in, in, yeah, in the forms of celebration, not only celebrating, but celebrating with others who are uh, in your company or you're in their company and you you guys feel the same way about each other. So mutual love and respect. There's some sort of reciprocity. Someone may be going to not only a wedding, but there might be, uh, you know, like, oh, OK, yeah, a wedding or some sort of party. And development of new relationships. Wow. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female, represents that Ten of Cups. So the last card for you, uh, Libra, and this turned out to be some pretty good energy here. Uh, we, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to follow through. Will you believe this shit? Libra, we have the Tower. 
Okay, this finishes us off. So you know the tower is all about that energy that we cannot control. Okay, so it's environmental. It's our politics. It's um, It could be all of those things related to something gets shaken up, something gets destroyed. It could be, uh, you know, like I said, the environment, weather, earthquakes. I know that the Cuba and was it between Cuba and Jamaica, they had like a 7.7 tower has shown up for one of the signs that I read for, uh, yeah, just this week. But it had already, I had already taped the video, but the earthquake came like the next day. And I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. So all things are possible with this tower. Um, yeah. What a way to finish a damn reading. Okay, the tower is here. So, but it's not going to be the type of energy that impacts each and every one of you. I still will feel uh, that you guys could focus, you know, a lot on, even though this is a major arcana, focus on the other energies that are showing up here. Because this tower is not, and it may not even, um, you know, impact you at all, but it might be impacting uh, others on a different level. Now, like, the tower creates shock. So there could be some shocking news, you know, like we experienced with, uh, you know, Kobe, Pri uh, Kobe Bryant, um, that tower, that type of energy, that shocking news. So it might be just news that is shocking to hear, but it is the type of news that everyone hears about. Um, so it could be just that, but we have to wait and see uh, what takes place to see how this uh, affects you or will impact you, if at all. So don't sweat, really don't sweat the small stuff here, Libra. Uh, yeah, it, it turned out to be a, a, a sour note at the end, but you still got some positive energies here. And I'm going to go, I lean more towards positive than I do negative. Uh, so yeah, the tower's here. And that's the only major arcana that has been drawn for you. So, hmm. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, okay? So, this is your energy here, presentation for this upcoming week. And uh, please be safe. You know, I always emphasize the safety when the tower shows up. And wishing you all well, sending you love and light until I talk to you again. Take care. Bye, Libra.